we finished up uh, updating the code that uh, takes a look at all the accounts that have had opportunities in the last, uh, I believe it's 120 days, and uh, we tagged that account uh, record so we can exclude it from the report. So when we look at the open lodge, um, I still have to update these two columns here because I, I found an extra uh, value we're going to put into kind of the equation. But if I come in and I say, okay, here is uh, the uh, loose gun, uh, when we go in and we take a look at that particular report, you know, things that we, uh, uh, you know, that I identified here, that uh, this starts to be pretty good in, uh, information for you. We take a look at an account like Outlier Resources. And when we look at that, <clears throat> what we're seeing here is that you don't have any contacts related to it. So that's a pretty significant gap. Um, associated with that and of course we don't have any uh, activity or opportunities related to it so uh, but when we look down at the actual account records we can start to see here that there's been some current activity in that area and um, you know probably would have been uh, good to go ahead and do some marketing associated with that there's still a few anomalies shell I know you want a big deal uh, but it still meets the equation and up here so uh, Simon area is loose gun and then the uh, day since activity greater than eight, opportunity tracker not equal to true. So if it's true, the opportunity tracker, that means that there's been an opportunity within the last 120 days. And also days activity equals blank, meaning we've never had any activity with that particular account. And outlier would be an example of that particular opportunity. If we come in and we look at a company like Tangle Creek and... Uh, uh, we, we look at that particular account, again, pretty much in the same boat. Um, you know, we've got one contact, so we obviously want to validate if that's a good contact, increase the contacts, and engage uh, from an activity perspective. And then, um, you know, if we look at a company like XTO, um, what we see with that particular account is that um, we've had some opportunities. The close date is uh, quite a bit out. Um, you know, we're looking at the end of the year, but the activity, the created date falls into the equation. So um, it must have been in, say, the last 30 days. I'll, I'll, I'll validate what the uh, created date would be with regards to that opportunity. And then when we look down at our activities, the last time we talked to them was back in July. So we've got, um, and when we go down here and we look at the well licenses, we can see here that last month they've been bringing out, um, you know, last little while they've been consistently bringing out well licenses. We felt there might be an opportunity, but we've had no activity with that particular account. So uh, needing to ensure that we engage uh, the appropriate customers. And the model seems to work uh, consistently. So if I come down here and we look at uh, Miss, uh, Miss Rue Lodge and open that up, uh, Again, Shell, you know, it's a bit of an anomaly on that side of it. But uh, if we look at uh, Modern Resources and we open up Modern Resources, we can see here that, um, you know, again, uh, we've got some opportunities. 5-3, the close date. So, you know, again, this might uh, fall out of it. Uh, we, we did close some deal earlier in the year, but it's been a while since we've had activities with this particular customer. So it um, be worthwhile for us to reach out and talk to that customer again. Um, Strath Resources, as an example, uh, when we look at this particular account, uh, we come down, you know, big blank on the contacts, activities and opportunities. So, you know, but when we look at their actual well licenses, we can see that there's been a significant activity in that, uh, that region. So what are we doing to ensure that we've engaged that particular customer? So I'm just going to uh, update the uh, facilities fields as well as the regional fields. We'll do that over the next couple of days. This open lodge will be completed, and then I'll do the same with the, uh, uh, the matting. And then we've got a pretty good um, you know, tool here to identify accounts that we don't have active activity with or, or it's limited, as well as we haven't had opportunities newly created within a certain time frame. And, uh, but yet they're active in that region, so they're going to need some engagement. Uh, hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory or that's explanatory. Take a look at it. And then I'll, when I finish all the, uh, uh, the dashboards, we'll set up a meeting to, uh, to review.